No, I had not noticed these things. I've had this up, this study up for years. <clears throat> and when I started investigating the new covenant, as opposed to the old covenant, the law, and what it entailed in Jeremiah and Ezekiel, the church is not part of that covenant, but certainly wonderful beneficiaries of it because of Christ's sacrifice for the sins of the whole world and the particular economy of the church, which was a mystery heretofore until we get to the Greek Bible, which people call the New Testament. But it's not the New Testament. It's the additional books that complete the uh, revelation of God for these ages until this age ends and then the millennial rule will begin. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is information for us to appreciate. So I'm going to start changing some words here and there to clarify. God designed the offices of prophet and apostle to found and initially direct the church. Very good. Until the church was established and the New Testament Bible. What is that? <clears throat> That's just the continuation of the 39 books. And the 37. Greek, the the, uh, taking the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible <coughs> this, it's called Hebrew because it initially was written in Hebrew pretty much except for a few phrases here and there and then the uh, church was then fully established but uh, the, uh, the design of it God designed the offices of prophet and apostle to found and initially direct the church until the church was established. And the rest of the revelation of God, the New Testament, I hate to use that word because we're not part of the New Testament, we're beneficiaries of it. We're not Israel. The Greek portion of the Bible is authored in Greek. was completed. So, how then would God direct his church? How would God's, not new covenant people, church, Jew and Gentile, how would God's church fully know what God wanted them to do and be? Enter into the prophetic office. <clears throat> another uh, tool that God used to set up and clarify and mature the church. It was the design of God that the prophetic office, together with the apostolic office, be used to found the church until the completion of the canon. Thus, in the New Testament, well, the, the Greek Bible, God sent prophets to direct and lead his church. <clears throat> and so we see the office of prophet being used by God throughout the Greek Bible. To direct his church. Because the church doesn't have an Old Testament and a New Testament. Paul and Barnabas were sent out by a prophet. Acts 13 Monies were raised on account of a famine predicted by a prophet, and people were warned of impending doom by a prophet. A theological controversy was decided by the declaration of a prophet. So it continued. The office of prophet continued because it was established in Deuteronomy 18 and continues on in that vein until its purpose was fulfilled. First century, the first letter when the New Testament was completed, which we'll look into. The first letter to the Corinthians was composed at a time with very little of the Greek Bible. Had been written. Because the words New Testament in these letters, compilation of these letters, uh, <coughs> was did not have the words New Testament on these letters. The church at the stage needed an authoritative word from the Lord to direct the pattern of the life under the, and not under the new covenant, under the church. 
age doctrine, doctrines which were brought forth in that Greek Bible. I should have fixed this years ago. Very likely none of the inspired manuscripts of the Greek Bible. This is not for Israel. This is the church. We're available to the Corinthians at this point in time. Conclusion. And so we see another design behind the gift of prophet, direction for the founding of the church. Without this gift operative in the apostolic church, the foundation, the founding, uh, the foundation of the church could not be laid. It was something new. There was not a New Testament and an Old Testament church. It was just the church body of body, which Paul, we looked at in Ephesians, defined pretty well. It's a combination of Jew and Gentile believed in Christ become part of the body of Christ. It was this gift that was directed, used to direct the church until the canon was closed. <clears throat> now, brothers and sisters, as one possessing the completed word of God, let me ask you this. If a question were raised regarding church order, the ministry and mission of the church, or how we ought to respond to a certain problem, or deal with an unrepentant brother or sister, where should we look for authoritative direction today? Should we do as Hillary Clinton and consult a spiritist or a medium? Or should we seek out a prophet as some advocate? Or is the word of God sufficient? <clears throat> the answer is obvious. <clears throat> To go to any other source today but the Word of God is not only to testify to a heart of rebellion against God's divine authority, but most certainly brings us into all sorts of error. God's Word alone is sufficient to direct and guide us into the will of God. We need nothing more, especially when there's no new revelation. So don't look for somebody in the street to add more to what God has already completed. And all of this naturally leads to a final design behind the gift of prophecy it was a means of completing the canon. Okay, so that brings us to the next subject. Prophecy is a means of completing the canon. A revelation in the Old Testament was a fragmentary and incomplete. Hebrews 1, 1 to 2. The Old Testament refers to the law. <clears throat> now we all know what the word New Testament means as far as the Bible is concerned. It's written on the cover, but it's not part of the original text. So Hebrews 1, 1 to 2. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath, or I needed to go over this study long before this, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, his creator. This contains an explanation of the greatest transition from the Old Testament form of revelation Hebrew Bible <clears throat> I don't know any better words than that because we're not talking about the law the Hebrew Bible form of revelation to the Greek Bible form Let me know if you have five better words than this. It won't be confusing then, a revelation. This passage also explains the transition from the Old Testament gift of prophecy to the New Testament office of prophecy. Hebrew Bible. Gift of prophecy to the, to the uh, Greek Bible.
office of prophecy founded in Christ. Now pertaining to the Old Testament prophetic gift, this passage says that God spoke to the prophets in many portions as of books and in many ways as in the forms of the prophets' dreams and visions. Now the implication with this phraseology is that the revelation in the Old Testament was fragmentary and incomplete. We've already discussed that because you've got the complete canon with all kinds of details, especially the letters of Paul and the Gospels. They're all historically fulfilling what was the Hebrew Bible, the content of that. How many times does the, uh, the Greek Bible quote, the authors of the latter books, the fulfillment of the canon, quote back into the Hebrew Bible and the Old Testament prophets there, so, so to speak. <clears throat> For example, to Noah was revealed the quarter of the world from which Messiah would come. To Micah, the town where he would be born was revealed. To Daniel, the time of his birth was revealed. To Malachi, the forerunner who would come before him was revealed. To Jonah, his resurrection was typified. Now this is not to say that the Old Testament prophetic word was erroneous. Rather, as I just said, it, it's just to say that it was incomplete. It needed to be The details needed to be presented when they occurred historically. And yet, with the advent of Jesus Christ, this incompletion is dissolved. Notice the text once again. With the advent of Christ, God spoke a final time. Once his message is relayed and recorded down, prophecy will cease in this age. So that which is complete, it's neuter in 1 Corinthians 13 and 8. Let me just take a look at that. First Corinthians 13 and 8. <clears throat> Love never fails, but if there are gifts of prophecy, they will be done away. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be done away. Wow, when is that going to happen? Because we know when Christ comes again, they will be renewed. So somewhere between this first century letter that Paul wrote, and now, something has to have ceased in the, in the matter of these gifts. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will be done away. The perfect, what's the perfect? Verse 10. Okay. When the, when the perfect comes, what gender is it? Teleon, the, the perfect. Neuter. Neuter gender. Then the in part shall be done away. <clears throat> so what is that perfect thing? Well, what historically happened when we look back in the first century, when the first books of the Greek Bible, the continuation of the Hebrew Bible, so we call it Old and New Testament, so we understand that, and uh, that came about, all of a sudden, those miraculous gifts were not being uh, exercised anymore, because the spiritual gifts, especially the miraculous ones, were used to authenticate the testimony of of the new information, the new revelation about Jesus Christ being the fulfillment of the Hebrew Bible's predictions of this Messiah, HaMashiach, to come. And how did you authenticate that? Because there were plenty of testimonies by people that weren't talking about Jesus. They're talking about other people that claim to be prophetic or some role in, in what the uh, Hebrew Bible predicted about. And you have to know, well, who's right and who's wrong? Well, Guys, I got over there starting healing people and raising people from the dead. I think I'll go along with what he said. So God designed the offices of prophet and apostle to found and initially direct the church until the church was established and the New Testament or the Greek Bible was completed. So with the advent of Christ, God spoke a final time once his message is relayed and recorded down, prophecy will see.